Welcome to our channel Tech It Easy. Hi friends. Today we will discuss about raw materials of blast furnace. Today's topic. Incoming flow of BF raw materials. Work flow of stock house. Specific raw material consumption. Functions of coke. Raw material desired quality. Physical test of raw materials. Blast furnace is a type of metallurgical furnace used to produce hot metal from raw materials. The main raw material inputs of a blast furnace are iron bearing raw material IBRM, sinter, pellets, iron ore DRI, the primary source of iron. Coke, metallurgical coal acts as a reducing agent and fuel. Dolomite, calcium magnesium carbonate flux to remove impurities and form slag. Quartzite, optional added to maintain slag basicity and slag volume. Pyroxenite can influence the slag composition, improving its fluidity and facilitating the removal of impurities. Manganese ore, optional added to produce manganese-rich pig iron. Stockhouse A blast furnace stockhouse is a facility that stores and prepares raw materials, known as burden materials, for use in a blast furnace during iron making. The main functions of a stockhouse include Storage, storing raw materials like sinter, pellet, iron ore, DRI, coke, quartzite, pyroxenite and dolomite in separate bins or silos. Screening of sinter, pellet, iron ore, coke etc. to remove undersize or fines. Weighing and batching, accurately weighing and batching the raw materials according to a predetermined recipe. Conveying, conveying the mixed materials to the blast furnace. A typical stockhouse layout includes Raw material receiving Area for unloading raw materials from trucks, trains, or ships Storage bins, silos or bins for storing each raw material Weighing and batching station Equipment for accurately measuring and batching materials Conveyor system Belts or other conveyors that transport the mixed materials to the blast furnace Control room Centralized monitoring and control station for managing stockhouse operations. The stockhouse plays a crucial role in ensuring consistent and efficient blast furnace operation by providing a steady supply of high-quality burden materials. Specific Raw Material Consumption One tone of hot metal required, IBRM, iron-bearing raw material, approximately 1,600 kg per tone hot metal. Typically center 60 to 80 percent. Pellet 20 to 40 percent. CLO 5 to 10 percent. DRI 3 to 4 percent optional. Flux 0 to 50 kg per tone hot metal. QRTZ Dolo. Pyroxenite. Fuel 500 to 550 kg per tone hot metal. Coke 300 to 350 kg per tone hot metal. Coal 150 to 200 kg per ton hot metal. Function of Coke Reasons for selecting Coke for blast furnace High strength Low fines generation It comes from top to bottom as it has. Provides more heat Provides reducing agent gas, carbon monoxide Gives more permeability Low ash content Provides mechanical support to entire burden. Blast Furnace Coke Size The size of metallurgical coke used in blast furnaces typically ranges from 40 to 100 mm bigger furnace and 20 to 80 mm smaller furnace with a median size of around 48 to 50 mm for BF and 40 to 45 mm for MBF. The size distribution of coke is important as it affects permeability, smaller coke sizes can reduce permeability, leading to lower furnace efficiency. Reactivity, larger coke sizes can reduce reactivity, leading to lower furnace efficiency. Strength, larger coke sizes tend to have higher strength, 
reducing degradation and fines generation. Common coke size ranges for larger blast furnaces, large coke, 60 to 100 mm, medium coke, 40 to 60 mm, small coke, 20 to 40 mm, fines less than 20 mm. Common coke size ranges for MBF. Large coke, 50 to 80 mm. Medium coke, 30 to 50 mm. Small coke, 10 to 30 mm. Fines, less than 10 mm. The optimal coke size distribution varies depending on factors such as furnace design, burden composition, operating conditions, coke quality. In general, a balanced size distribution with a mix of larger and smaller coke pieces is preferred to ensure good permeability, reactivity, and strength. Coke Moisture Blast furnace coke moisture has a significant impact on furnace performance, affecting coke strength. Higher moisture reduces coke strength, leading to increased degradation and fines generation. Reactivity Moisture can reduce coke reactivity, making it harder to burn and increasing fuel consumption. Furnace atmosphere, moisture can lead to increased hydrogen and water vapor in the furnace, potentially causing issues like carbon deposition, gas imbalances, reduced furnace efficiency, energy efficiency, moisture requires additional energy to evaporate, reducing furnace energy efficiency. Coke consumption, Higher moisture can lead to increased coke consumption to maintain furnace temperature and productivity. Typical coke moisture limits, ideal, less than 3%. Acceptable, 3 to 5%. High, 5 to 7%. Very high, greater than 7%. To minimize the impact of coke moisture, dry coke, ensure coke is properly dried before use. Store coke properly, protect coke from moisture during storage. Monitor moisture, regularly test coke moisture to ensure consistent quality. Adjust furnace operation, compensate for high moisture by adjusting furnace conditions. Bulk density of coke The bulk density of blast furnace coke is typically in the range of 0.5 to 0.6 tons per cubic meter or 500 to 600 kilograms per meter cube. However, it can vary depending on factors such as coke size and distribution. Larger coke pieces tend to have a lower bulk density than smaller ones. Coke porosity, more porous coke tends to have a lower bulk density. Moisture content, higher moisture content can reduce bulk density. Compaction, degree of compaction during storage or transportation can affect bulk density. Measuring the bulk density of coke involves determining the mass of a unit volume of coke. Loose bulk density. Container, use a cylindrical container with a known volume, for an example, 1 liter or 1000 centimeter cube. Fill container, fill the container with coke, allowing it to flow freely. Level surface, level the coke surface. Weight, weigh the container with coke. Calculate, we can calculate bulk density, BD, in kg per meter cube or gram per centimeter cube. BD is equal to weight of coke by volume of container. Coke ash Coke ash refers to the non-combustible residue left after the combustion of metallurgical coke. It's a critical parameter in coke quality, as high ash content can reduce furnace efficiency, increase slag volume, decrease hot metal quality. Typical ash content in metallurgical coke, low ash coke less than 10%. Standard coke 10 to 12% high ash coke. 12 to 15 percent very high ash coke, greater than 15 percent. Ash composition, silica, SiO2. Alumina, Al2O3. Iron oxide, Fe2O3. Calcium oxide, CaO.
magnesium oxide mgo sulfur s factors influencing ash content coal rank higher rank coals produce lower ash coke carbonization temperature higher temperatures reduce ash content coke handling and storage mechanical stress can increase ash content factors influencing ash content coal rank higher rank coals produce lower ash coke carbonization temperature higher temperatures reduce ash content coke handling and storage mechanical stress can increase ash content the calorific value of metallurgical coke is the amount of heat energy released when a unit mass of coke is completely combusted it's an important property for blast furnace operation as it affects the energy input and efficiency typical calorific values for metallurgical coke are gross calorific value gcv high quality coke 30 to 32 mega joules per kilogram mj per kilogram standard coke 28 to 30 mega joules per kilogram low quality coke 25 to 28 mega joules per kilogram net calorific value ncv high quality coke 28 to 30 mega joules per kilogram standard coke 25 to 28 mega joules per kilogram low quality coke 22 to 25 mega joules per kilogram note that these values can vary depending on factors such as coke ash content higher ash content reduces calorific value coke volatile matter content higher volatile matter content increases calorific value coke fixed carbon content higher fixed carbon content increases calorific value ignition temperature the ignition temperature of coke also known as the ignition point or auto ignition temperature is the minimum temperature at which coke will spontaneously ignite in air without an external heat source The ignition temperature of coke varies depending on factors such as coke type, petroleum coke, metallurgical coke, or foundry coke. Coke quality, volatile matter content, fixed carbon content, and ash content. Particle size: smaller particles tend to have a lower ignition temperature. Typical ignition temperatures for different types of coke are petroleum coke. 580 to 650 degrees celsius metallurgical coke 600 to 700 degrees celsius foundry coke 650 to 750 degrees celsius note that these values are approximate and can vary depending on the specific coke and test conditions the ignition temperature is an important parameter in coke handling and storage as it can affect the risk of spontaneous combustion and fires volatile matter coke volatile matter vm refers to the components of coke that vaporize or evolve gases when heated volatile matter is an important parameter in coke quality as it affects coke strength higher volatile matter can reduce coke strength and increase degradation reactivity volatile matter can influence coke reactivity affecting furnace efficiency furnace atmosphere volatile matter can impact the furnace atmosphere potentially leading to issues like carbon deposition or gas imbalances volatile matter composition moisture volatile organic compounds vocs carbon monoxide co hydrogen h2 methane ch4 other hydrocarbons factors influencing volatile matter coal rank higher rank coals produce lower volatile matter coke carbonization temperature higher temperatures reduce volatile matter coke handling and storage mechanical stress can increase volatile matter